as gas shortages continue to be an, a serious issue here in North Carolina and all across the southeast of the United States. Drivers in the east are working to keep their tanks filled and they're cool as the state works to replenish fuel supply. That in your sides, Caroline Boyer shares what people in Greenville are seeing. Riding around Greenville, you'll find one extreme or the other. Gas stations completely out of gas or gas stations with lines wrapped around the building. This has drivers in the east concerned they'll run out of gas. I kind of rolled my eyes at it at first and now I'm running out of gas and <laughs> I might be working from home the rest of the week. We'll see. It's a familiar scene across the east. I work downtown and have easily seen the uh, bags across all of the, uh, the gas pumps all throughout town. Was in Kinston yesterday, past four or five locations, and it was the same thing there. Lines wrapped around the gas station and down the street as the tanker pulls up to replenish fuel. A welcomed sight. By the time you get situated to get in line, you know, you're another 10 cars behind and everybody's fighting, you know, for the same gas pumps. Several people at the pump say they've waited in line upwards of 40 minutes to fill up their tanks this week. It was always bad, but it was worth it. I mean, because I was almost on people. Some have even seen others getting aggressive. I've seen people irate, upset. I mean, I've seen people just, you know, belligerent. I mean, because they're scared that somebody's going to jump them or something like that. So, I mean, it's been scary. The panic for fuel comes after the Colonial Pipeline ransomware cyber attack last week. It has several gas stations in the east running on empty. They're out of, of all types of gas, whether it's the ethanol free or whatever. So. It's just, it's a nightmare right now. The average price of a gallon reached $3 Wednesday morning for the first time since 2014. That's the last thing I'm on my mind that right now. It's just getting enough fuel in there so that I can get to where I need to be. Colonial Pipeline initiated the restart of pipeline operations this evening. Officials say it will take several days for the supply to get back to normal. In Greenville, Caroline Boyer, 9 on your side.